Hi guys, I'm here with Kadi Mo, the yeah. troublemaker I of beg. I'm not. I'm not a troublemaker. <laughs> I'm just that we don't like peace. He's not fresh, so it's my camera that's making him fresh. He likes violence. <laughs> Before the violence go grow, now he needs to stop I beg you. Don't guide the violence up. I'm not, I beg you. I'm a very innocent person. I don't even know the meaning of violence. <laughs> Everything you put your hand go up. You never open doors. You said go be a boss. Amen. Amen. 2007, I was just walking around then. Um, a man that happens to be my boss, Mr. Patrick Okun, now told me that I should come and help him um, wash clothes, only washing, no ironing. So, that is going to give me 4,000 there. And I was like, wow, 4,000 there. Then it was, it was a big pay. So I went home and I told my dad and my mom that. I would love to go and I want to start work. I want to go and work. So my my dad was like, you see? I said, Daddy, I want to work. <laughs> my dad actually did not like the idea because <laughs> he believed in a system where I don't want my child to go and be under somebody and was suffering and blah blah blah. My mom was like, let's even go now. Let him go, let him go and learn. Okay. Then it was more of manual washing, there was no much of machine. So we washed like 120 clothes, 150 clothes in a day. And then we grew from there. My salary now grew from 4,000 to 6,000 uh, naira. That's at 2008, 2009. So 2009, I now left my August place to go and write my WAIEC uh, exams. When I came back, they said somebody else had taken my position. Uh, that was kind of heartbreak. But we have to move, no? So we move. I moved to another place again. Okay. While I was working there, my boss decided to sell the business to somebody else. When the man came in, he could not run the business. Shut down. So now they wanted me to be unemployed. But the God that I'm serving said, No, my son, my son, you shall walk. My father's house, the veranda, I decided to use um, one table. Now, after telling my customers, there are people around that see you, I can wash your clothes, I can iron. Now, started trusting me, giving me clothes. I will now wash, iron, deliver. They like the, 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 the whole um, laundry. But I had a challenge. My challenge was that I did not have generator. So how do I iron and deliver on time? I also have a colleague of mine that when my boss sold that shop, we left together. So he was doing his own, I was doing my own. So what we do is that I will call him, guy alpha, when I get lights from that side, you say there's lights, and one time my Ghana must go with iron to his house. And now iron there. Some days. Some days when I'm unfortunate, I will now they say there's light. Before I will reach there, I will use my eye and see how to take the light from. I will now wait. <coughs> wait to some days you have luck, they will bring back the light. Some days they will not bring back the light. You now have to be begging customers. But as the day goes by, my father my father did not really want me to do the work, but because he saw the seriousness in me. One day I was just sitting down. I saw as they brought new generator, yum, 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 and mount. So they then called me and say and said I should go and buy fuel. Went and bought fuel. Started saying use that be ironing fuel. Say wahoo! So I was a proud owner of a generator. Start um, a business like full time. So I was ironing back to back, and then my location was. Um, in Yagasang, in Calabar, uh, I was uh, the first person to bring laundry to that area. So I was more of hot cake. <laughs> Within one year, I made money that I used to build a shop, standard laundry shop with a um, drying machine, washing machine, garment steamer, and, and all of that. But the issue I had was that I should be defined the work. The work now came and the thing now choked me. 
So sometimes you, I will start ironing like 6 p.m. and I will finish the ironing around 9 a.m. the next day. And it can happen like four times in a week. And then my system started collapsing. I just have to rest because as long as you make the money, can't deliver to shop the money for you. So I had to be relaxing. And then increase my price. If you want to start your clothes, no, no, no. You pay me one shirt, 400, 500. People were still giving me the work. Like people. So the work was growing, growing, growing. Uh, one of those days I had opportunity that um, I got a call from Dangote Noodles Company. So I went to the company and they told me if I can wash these clothes and bring them back to the dry them, iron and bring them back. I said yes I can. They gave me about 30 pieces of their factory wear. And uh, fortunately I went the, the money I made earlier in my life, I had to invest it into buying of um, machines, generator. I had to double down my generator in case one breaks down. So I came back from Dangote Noodles with the clothes. I wash with the machine, dry it and iron it. So within three hours, I was done with the 20 pieces of clothes. Is it 30 or 20 pieces of clothes? And now called the factory people that the clothes is ready. They were like, are you serious? The person that we gave the clothes since three days ago has not returned. Okay, come, bring it. Let's see. So I took the clothes there. They now were, they were looking for faults. They did not see. They were thinking the clothes is damped or not properly dried. They did not see. Now say, okay, you will be washing 90 pieces of clothes every day. Um, I started washing 90. Now, the thing is, I was looking for work. Now the work came. The work wanted to kill me. But the God that I'm serving said, no, my son, you will not die. You work. So I started the work. And now I employed extra five boys and added to the three. So the other three will take care of the regular customer clothes. Then these five now will have to this company work. They are washing. But they will not pay me daily, they will not pay me weekly. After the whole month, they now gather the money and give it to me. I worked the first month and then um, they paid me the money. It was sweet. The second month, they paid me again. It was about 300,000 naira in one month. That time my brain wanted to bust 300 k You know what's that? From just one particular person? Yes, from that person. And you have company. other people you're yeah, making money? Yeah, I have money. other people. That one is like from one bulk, one source. 300 k I was like, wow. The next month again, the money went to about 360, depending on how frequent I was washing. The second month, they did not pay. They added the whole money to the third month. I was working. My body was going down. The stress was getting much. So I went, this is now, now me that told the company, I don't want to work again. For you, Bukai work and kill me. But I know it wasn't wise. I would have found a way of yeah. expanding my workers. Your workers, like that. yeah. But in a um, situation where, or in a country where the workers were already going to the company to find a way of lobbying, they work for themselves. Poverty is bad. Poverty is a very bad thing. That day I collected 700,000 and they folded it in. They said I should count. Why didn't you take it to the bank? Okay. That time bank was not operating like that, like now. And uh, there was no POS. And then it's already late, around 5 to 6. So I now folded before you leave NPA and then to Harbour Junction. There's no bank along that road. Okay. I left NPA with 700,000. I folded the newspaper and now spread the money. Bought more machines, uh, improved my laundry, bought a bigger generator, pimped my shop, flat screen, AC. All of those things, and then my brother's school fees, my siblings' school fees, and so on. So, you want to say that the job is lucrative? Yes, 
very lucrative. But there's work. But there's work to do. Okay. So and you've been doing it since, um, since 2017. That is almost. Um, Almost 20, 18, 19 years. You don't tell. You are yeah, old. So I'm old. Right now, so I'm, I'm just doing it for the fun. I'm not doing it again like... Before. before. Because now if you want to employ somebody and say, okay, come and work. Now that there's this Yahoo syndrome, mm -hmm. no young man wants to stress Come and stress himself yourself and, where they can just press buttons. Yeah, yeah. So they, they like to go to where they call HQ. Headquarter. Headquarter, and then do the pressing, then get cash, and then this betting, that one, that one is the worst now. Thing has corrupt now an addiction to so many young guys. That now it's addiction. Yes. Yeah, because so, with hundred naira, two hundred naira, you can play. How can you use two hundred naira and want to go and win two million? Did they open the game for you too. So it's, it's 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 very very sad that the generation has um. It's like this now. So nobody wants to learn and work again. Yeah. They want sharp cash. Uh, so it's affecting most businesses now. Now there are people who have money and will wish to open. Those that was praying, God, give me some. Give me, let me have somebody that will say, come and manage my laundry for me. But I did not see. So today we have people who have spare cash and they can open the whole business for you. But they are looking for run. people to manage. For young people. They will not see. Uh -huh. So if you want to... Um, calculate now i want to like calculate everything let's say where you started mm. right before your dad bought generator if you want to estimate it in cash like how much did you use to start i really did not use money to start okay so i can't really please my dad had an iron an iron a person house, iron and there's a house there's a there iron a table. okay so the bucket in the house i use it to wash sometimes the quarrel we had that first instance is that is my dad batting soup and quarrel is not a fresh thing. So um, then I when I collected, started collecting the first stage of money and I went and bought detergents, bought soap. So basically I really did not start with capital but um let's say discipline. Discipline, okay. That is nice. So that will be all for this interview. Let me join in the interview that I've not seen myself. So guys, this is where we have to end today's video. If he can do it you can, can do it, do it. yes yeah. and he's doing so many things not that not just laundry you have other businesses into fashion is into laundry is into phone and phone accessories so if you need cheap phones you contact him and if you need your boy package he they sell the same the what's the name of that shoe again what do they call it crocs crocs and the socks and even the cream <laughs> We need condom too as well. Yeah, you <laughs> so, so guys, that is all for this video. My name is Pat Eyaba. I have got you more. And if you want to laugh, you want to have a good laugh, you want to just ease out the stress of what is happening in Nigeria, please, I'll put his Facebook page there. He's going to, he's opening a page. Please, people should support him. Support. Let's move okay. this ministry forward because it's not good. See, Nigeria, say we are lazy. It's not good to have just one stream of income. Yeah. And now we have somebody that's having less support. Need multiple streams. See that yes. that time they used to tell you that uh, jack of all trades is easy. my brother. Now you need the jack of all the trades in this country. You are an engineer. Okay. You are a tailor. Everything. Jack. Just, no. just learn a skill. Get a skill. Just that's get it. a skill. Just get a skill. This is 2022. See, you cannot be begging. Every time they are giving you, giving you work for yourself. When are you going to have your money? So guys, we are talking too much, we are talking too much. Let's bye-bye, subscribe, like. He used to be a YouTuber one time. Oh, I don't even know what to his YouTube. I don't know what happened to his YouTube career. <laughs> Where did I put your YouTube career? No, Sakpa. Sakpa, I put his YouTube. Around. I put it around on TikTok. No, no, we do more on Facebook. Okay, it's, it's, more, it's more on Facebook. Let's yeah. support his Facebook ministry. So bye, guys. Bye. Love you. Love you. Then. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago.